In today's video, we're going to be going on a $100 shopping spree at Five Below. And guys, I am so excited for this because it has been an entire year since I've gone to Five Below. I asked you guys what type of videos you wanted to see on my channel, and so many of you guys said a Five Below shopping video. And I thought this was the perfect time to film this video because spring is just around the corner, and that means that stores are finally starting to bring out all of their spring and Easter items. I'm also willing to bet there's probably some summer stuff in here already as well. One thing that I really hope to find today are some new Squishmallows because Five Below is known for having some really cute ones. And actually, a subscriber recently messaged me and told me that they had a bird Squishmallow that looked exactly like my bird Lucky. And I swear if I find that today, everyone in the store is going to know about it because I'm going to freak out. But guys, before we go inside, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. Here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete that five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. What is your favorite thing to shop for at Five Below? I would definitely say candy and Squishmallows for me. Also, sometimes they have some really awesome fidget toys. Oh, P.S. I actually painted my nails for today's video. Look, they are pastel and they are giving me spring vibes and I am living for it. But without further ado, let's go inside the store right now and see what they have. Also, this is my first time going to this Five Below. I've never been to this location, so can't wait to see what they have. Here we go, you guys. All right, guys, so we just made it into the store, and I can tell you right now, this Five Below is so much bigger than the one that I used to go to. We're going to get one of these little cart baskets. Like I said, I'm really hoping that they have Squishmallows here. Here's a giant bin of stuffed animals, and I'm not seeing any Squishmallows yet, but like I said, the store is humongous, so we might find some later on. I will definitely keep my eyes open. And then up here towards the front, they have Peeps Galore, and I actually saw some really fun flavors over here on the other side. So they have cotton candy, they have fruit punch, these chocolate dipped Peeps, which I can't tell if those would be really good or really bad. Chocolate pudding, which I've never seen before, so that's really fun. And then my personal favorite, other than the original, is party cake. Ooh, this is a gummy bunny. I definitely thought at first that this was white chocolate, so that's really cool. Oh my gosh, there's just so much to look at. So I wanna really take a look at everything they have before we make our final decisions, because even though we have a $100 budget, it's still a budget, okay? We can't go too crazy. They already have some pool noodles out. This is making me so excited for spring and summertime. You guys, I just found Dunkin' Donut coffee flavored jelly beans. What? Okay, let's see, toasted coconut, butter pecan, French vanilla, caramel latte, and hazelnut. Ugh. As interesting as those sound, I'm not a huge fan of jelly beans to begin with. I really only like the Starburst jelly beans, so I think I'm going to skip out on these ones, but that is a cool find. Definitely interesting. <gasps> Wait, what? They have Fruit Loops flavored jelly beans too. Oh my gosh. So fun, like I said, but I feel like I would definitely get sick if I tried those, so we're gonna keep looking. Okay, I'm obsessed with these sparkly Easter eggs and they look so pretty with my nails. I just had to point it out. They also have sparkly golden Easter eggs, a step up from just the golden ones. Ooh, Care Bears, Callie would love these. Callie's obsessed with Care Bears. Ooh, so they have these little mini brands mystery packs. Huh, I've never seen those before. They are $5, I'm not sure how many they come with. Let's see, there's three included. Hmm. I think I'll stick with the capsules, but this is a cool find because I love mystery things. I think they're so much fun. They also have these fidget ice cream cones. Oh, guys, look at these giant sparkly rubber ducks. I definitely thought at first that these would be squishy like a fidget, but no. They're just super blinged out rubber ducks. So they're really cute, but I actually already have a couple rubber ducks in my bathroom at home because I love them. But these ducks are very extra, so they are really fun. Ooh, okay guys, so I just found these. They're called Squishville Squishmallows, and these are also mystery packs. So I think we should get a few of these. They look very enticing. Let's get two. 
think it shows the different options that you get on the back. I really hope that I get that little bird. So we'll get this one and then we'll also get this one. They are 325 and they are smaller than my hand. Really tiny, but I think it'd be fun to open them. Mystery Sims Sims. Yeah, guys, this is the display of mystery packs. So super fun, but I think the Squishmallow ones are definitely my favorite. All right, guys, we are literally entering the land of candy. Oh my gosh, I swear, Five Bowl has more candy than a candy store does. It's insane. So we're going to look around and maybe we'll try something we've never tried before. That's the goal. I want to get something different. So there are so many gummies. My personal favorite gummies are these peach ones. They are amazing. Oh, my brother loves these gummy raspberries. They're also really good. So yeah, I think this entire wall is just like tons of gummies oh that's cool mario kart mystery item literally guys five bowl has so many fun mystery packs i am obsessed <gasps> stop literally do you guys see this right now i legit thought that this was a real pack of hot dogs you guys may have seen a couple weeks ago Callie and I did a gummy versus real food challenge and I wish I would have come to five below before ordering super expensive gummies off of Amazon because literally they have hot dogs they have bacon lunchables noodles a donut french fries sushi tacos literally this taco okay it's saying that it's three dollars and fifty cents here i think i paid at least fifteen dollars for this on amazon like oh my gosh i am so mad that i didn't come here first because i would have saved literally like seventy dollars they even have the gummy cola for five dollars guys i paid 25 dollars for this on amazon i am not kidding you I'm gonna try not to think about it but it does make me so mad <gasps> wait Oh my gosh, these remind me of the pretty patties from that one SpongeBob episode. Candy buttons. You guys, I didn't know these still existed. These were really popular when I was a kid. My taste buds have definitely changed. <laughs> I could not eat these anymore and enjoy them. They're basically little hardened globs of unflavored sugar on a piece of paper, and you would always get a little paper in your mouth when you peel them off. Yeah, you definitely have to be a kid to enjoy those. Chocolate covered sunflower seeds. I know Callie likes those. <gasps> Ooh, chocolate rocks. These are cool. Kind of want to try these. I'll keep those in mind. They have slime liquors here. I remember when these were super duper hard to find and people would sell them for like $20. It's crazy. I have had them before and they're not my favorite thing, honestly. Um, they're just kind of like sour liquid. I thought they'd be more like slime. Speaking of slime, what is this? Gummy candy with sour candy goo. Ooh, you guys know I love SpongeBob. So this is green apple slime and tropical gummies. Kind of want to try this. I'm going to put this in our little cart basket and maybe we'll get it. It's a strong maybe. We'll have to do process of elimination after we're done shopping because I'll probably go over our budget. Okay, I absolutely have to give this a try, you guys. It's a Fruity Pebbles birthday cake candy bar. Literally all my favorite things in one. I love birthday cake flavored things and fruity pebble flavored things. So we have to get this. This is gonna be such a fun haul. I can already feel it. And the only thing that would make this better is if we could find some Squishmallows. Like I kind of want to ask somebody that works here if they have them, but I also want to discover them myself because I think it'll be 10 times more exciting. So let's keep looking around and see if we can find some Squishmallows. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh my gosh, guys, I found the Squishmallows. This is literally the Squishmallow jackpot. <laughs> they have at least 10 different kinds here and I am so excited to go through them with you. What? Okay, so they're $5.95. Amazing deal, if I do say so myself. <gasps> This one is so cute. I don't know what it is, but I need it. I think it's a cricket maybe. Its name is Axel. Stop, this is adorable. I need this. It's so cute. Okay, we're definitely getting that one. And then guys, they have some from the Lion King. This is Scar, Simba, 
And then Nala. I tend to prefer the Squishmallows that aren't characters from movies. I don't know why. That's just the way I roll. So I'm not going to be getting those, but that is a really cool find. We have this little iguana, a pink snail. This is adorable. This is Sylvina. She's also adorable. So we're going to get her as well. And then I'm coming way down here. Wait, what's this? <gasps> Guys, okay, I think I found a cute Squishmallow hidden at the bottom over here. Hang on, I got to reach my hand down there. What is this? Is this a snail? I don't know. A Martian? I gotta read the tag. Maybe it'll tell us. It's so cute. And there's like literally one left. Hmm. Guys, I don't know what she is, but she's so cute. I think it's a snail. I'm not sure. I think if I look it up on my phone, it'll tell me what kind of animal she is. I'm gonna put her in my basket. All right, let's keep looking down here because I feel like that's where all the cute ones are. They're hidden. Yeah, there's a raccoon, which is adorable. I was really hoping to find that bird squishmallow that someone sent me a picture of that they said they found at their five below. I don't see that one anywhere, unfortunately, but if you guys ever find it, let me know. I will insert a picture of it somewhere on the screen. I'm dying to find that one. Yeah, guys, I'm really happy with these three squishmallows. So let's look over here. Oh my gosh, so... Honestly, I never really took the time to look around the home decor section of Five Below because until this year, I didn't have my own house, so I didn't really care to do that. But it looks like they have some really cool things over here. There's tons of pillows. There's little rugs, baskets. If there's one thing I have enough of at my house, it's pillows and blankets. I actually probably have too many of them, so we're not gonna be getting any of those. This little disco ball cup is adorable. I love that. These little mugs with glitter at the bottom are so fun. I don't know what I would use these little stools for, but I feel like I need one. I'm going to resist temptation because genuinely I don't know what I'd use them for, but they are really cute. I never realized how many phone cases Five Below had. Like, wow. And then they have all these really fun LED light things. This is a shower head. I think Callie has that. Oh, I used to have one of these. The iPhone charms. I kind of want to get another one if I could find one that I like. That one's cool. It's like different stones. It's also really cute. It has pink gummy bears. They literally have Squishmallow earmuffs here. What? Oh, headphones. Headphones. Never mind. That is insane. I definitely need to get these for my next upcoming giveaway because who doesn't want Squishmallow headphones? I mean, seriously, that is awesome. Anyways, guys, now I'm going to go head over to the slime and fidget section. I haven't been there yet, but I have a good feeling that they're going to have a really awesome selection. A few moments later. All right, guys, so I found the section and look how colorful it is. I am so excited to go through everything. So, okay, they have pastel pop tubes, glow-in-the-dark pop tubes, which I actually already got from here before, but this is beautiful. I have a fidget atom like this, except the colors are not nearly as pretty. So they have this bright rainbow one, and then they also have a pastel one for $5. Let's see what they have down here. So many fidgets, what's this? Oh, these are so cute. I think these are animal dumplings. So they're a step up from the original dumplings, because honestly, the original ones are very boring and beige, but these are taking it up a notch. So I love that. Ooh, wee, guys fortune fidgets that is so cool do you get an actual fortune in here okay i think we need to get this because fun fact about me i am actually obsessed with fortune cookies so we're gonna get one and hopefully i get a good fortune they have these little squishy gummy bears <gasps> Ooh, okay these caught my attention instantly these are like little globbles i mean okay it's nothing i don't have already i think what really caught my attention was the packaging that's really cute they have these giant water wigglers Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. So they are Hello Kitty Orby stress balls. They also have ice cream ones and just originals. Oh, and fruit. I think I need these Hello Kitty ones in my life. Yeah, I'm going to add them to our basket. And then again, before I check out, I'm gonna go through everything to make sure we're on budget. They have a giant watermelon stress ball, a jumbo crystal one. Ooh, I do have something similar to that though, so I'm going to skip out on it. <gasps> Squishy mochi fruit. 
stop. Okay, without hesitation, I'm buying that. That's not even a maybe. That's a 100% yes, yes, yes. I love mochis so much, and I can't believe you could get this many for $5. Ooh, radioactive ramen. So, like, glow in the dark, I think? Wait, I think that's the OG, and then this. This is the glow in the dark, I think. Yeah. Who wouldn't want that? Are you kidding me? Like, yes, please. And then over here, there's just a bunch of prank stuff. I would have loved this section as a kid because <laughs> I used to love doing pranks like that. Silly fans are back. Guys, when I was a kid, these were so popular. Everyone used to collect them and trade them. They're basically little rubber bands in the shape of different things. So this is a dinosaur theme pack. And down here, let's see, this is fun shapes. So they come in different shapes and colors and it's so fun. I think I might need to get a pack just for old time's sake. I found the slime section. Where do we even start? This is so exciting. Um, oh, this is neat. High bouncing putty. If it's two in one, you can play with it and it bounces. That's really fun. I have a giant bucket of golden glittery slime that looks just like this. Oh, Play-Doh slime. I've never tried Play-Doh slime. That's fun. Apparently, I walked right past a giant display of slimes. They used to be in an aisle, so that's why I didn't think to look over here. Oh my gosh, seriously. Five Below has so many fun things at every corner. I'm not even kidding. All right, so we have cupcake slime. We have strawberry slime. This is cosmic batter oh my gosh like the cosmic brownies that's really cool oh my gosh what do we get cupcake frosting cookie crush hmm i don't know guys there's so many options noise patty squishy cubes Ooh, that's enticing this one is fun it comes with gummy bears i do have something like this at home already though so i want to try something different so these slimes over here really caught my eye they come in three different scents, donut glazed, s'more, and cake frosting. So I'd love to do one of each. So here's a s'more, and I love the idea of this because it comes with little charms to make it extra exciting. Then this is the donut glazed. And then there's one more I wanna find. Oh, here it is, cake frosting. So we're gonna try all of these and see if they're any good. They are $3.50 each, so I want to see if they smell good. Oh, wait, what's this? Hold on a second. What is this? Hello Kitty slime. That is also really cool. All right, guys, they have so many more mystery packs over here. I love how Five Below has so many of these. It's so fun. Let's see. Cutations. That's new. What are these? That's so cute how they look like candy. It's called Candy Pop. <gasps> Oh my gosh, they have mystery mochi lollipops. I got one of these last year and I loved it. So we're gonna get another one. I think we're gonna do yellow because last year I got a pink one. So guys, I'm looking at all the notebooks and pens and arts and crafts stuff right now. And I had to show this to you guys. This is a fidget and a notebook all in one. It's a shaggy notebook. And I think this is absolutely the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. And they have another sensory one right here. It has pink water beads. That is so cool. I feel like I would get very easily distracted with these, but I love them. Your future is bright. It has so many cute options. Now let's check out the beauty section. So I'm pretty sure this is new at Five Below. They have all of these $1 travel size things, which is so ideal if you're traveling, obviously. So there's Listerine, there's little spray bottles, shampoo and conditioner, like $2. That's an amazing deal. Advil. This section is also really great if you want to create a little emergency kit. I have one for my car and I swear it is the best thing I've ever done. I use it all the time. So when I need to restock the things that are in there, I'm definitely going to come to Five Below. I don't know if I have a Tide stick in there. This would be a great thing to have. I have one in my purse, but not in my car. They've got so many hair ties and hair brushes, claw clips. Guys, Callie is obsessed with these. I have some, but I never really use them. I just kind of put them in my hair if I'm going to bed or if I'm trying to section off my hair when I'm curling it. They have so much. Even more claw clips, and these ones look like a butterfly. <gasps> if Callie was with me right now, she would be hyperventilating. They also have fake nails galore. Again, 
Callie's fave. <laughs> I should have come here with her, but hey, that'll give me an excuse to come back. They have a ton of makeup brushes here, you guys. I just bought one singular makeup brush at Target for like $30, and I regret it so much because it's not even that great. And they have so many here that look like they would be just as good. So guys, here is the lip balm that they have. Back in the day when I collected lip balm like a crazy lady, this is where I would always come to first. In fact, it was usually the main reason I would come to Five Below in the first place. So they have a pretty decent selection here. Oh my gosh, guys, Squishmallow Nails. <gasps> I think they have Squishmallow themed everything now. Oh my gosh, wait, these are lip glosses? Stop, that is so cool. I love the little marshmallow. That is absolutely adorable. And then also on the side, they have a Ring Pop lip balm, Hot Cheetos, what? Okay, that is just, so awesome. There is still so much to look at over in beauty, so let's check it out. You guys, they have eyelashes here. These ones actually look really, really pretty. And then look at all these pretty nail polish shades for spring. They're all pastel. I love this one and this one. This is a really pretty peach color. I don't think I've ever had a peach nail polish before, so I may need to get this. If you guys had to choose one of these eyeshadow palettes, which one would you choose? Neon Brights, Pastel Prism, looking bright or glitter galore or modern i would do this one because i wear these colors the most i used to be really into bright fun eyeshadows when i was like 12 but now that i'm older i realized i looked terrible with them so i would definitely go with this one all right guys this may just be the best makeup brush cup i have ever seen in my life know your worth and then add tax this is everything i actually need this two seconds later. All right guys, so now we're in the clothing section and this outfit instantly caught my eye. As you guys could see, there are two options out right now. They have this one that's orange and yellow with these adorable orange flare pants and they have white flowers. And then they also have the blue and white with this checker print design. So guys, comment below, which option do you like more? The one on the left or the one on the right? I personally am obsessed with this. It's very bright, but it makes me think of spring and summertime. So I'm gonna get the tank top and also the pants. I was looking and they don't have any size small. So I'm going to try a medium and hopefully they won't be too big on me because usually I am a size small, um, but I cannot wait to try that outfit on. It looks like it's pretty decent quality, but of course you don't really know until you try it on, which I will be doing for you guys in the haul, which will be posted after this video. So stay tuned for that. I also saw this SpongeBob shirt with all the main characters. Sadly, this is literally for toddlers. I already looked, so kind of sad but it definitely caught my attention because I still love Spongebob to this day. I will say guys, if I had to choose a shirt from over here, I was looking at them earlier. I like the one that says, do what makes you happy. I also like the Tweety Bird one that says one of a kind. And there was one more, Barbie. I like the Barbie one. It's right here. If it was a little bit more of a light purple, I would get it. And then guys, they have all of these pajama pants and they are so velvety soft. I actually do have a pair of pajama pants like this from Five Below that I got like two years ago and I wear them all the time. So if these are a size small, I'm going to get them. Let's see. They are a size oh, small. No way. Okay, yes, I am absolutely getting these because they are the comfiest pants ever. But all right, you guys, I'm going to head towards checkout now because my cart is completely filled up and I don't want to go too much over budget. So fingers crossed we got close to that $100 mark, but we will see. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, guys, so I was just about to check out when I found something that caught my attention. Okay, so. Lately, I have been obsessed with bubble tea. Like, I'm not just saying this. Yesterday, I ordered bubble tea through Uber Eats and it was $25 for bubble tea. That's how obsessed I am with it right now. I paid that much for it to be delivered to me. But I feel like I need to try these. So as you can see, this bubble tea is in a can. They have brown sugar flavor, taro, hopefully I'm saying that right, taro flavor, and then honeydew. I think I'm going to try ooh, either brown sugar or honeydew. Which one would you guys try? The purple looked the most enticing to me at first, but I don't know what that flavor is. Taro, I'm not sure. Um, so I think I'm going to try the honeydew. 
we have to give this a go. Oh, and then P.S. I also found this flower shaped rug for the bathroom. And I think it'll look so cute in my house for springtime. So now we can go check out. <laughs> Our grand total was $92.76. We were so close to our $100 budget. I'm very proud we didn't go over. Guys, that was so successful. I cannot wait for this haul. We have so many fun things to try out. So make sure you stay tuned for the haul video. It will be posted right after this one tomorrow morning. So don't miss it. But thank you all so much for watching this video and shopping with me at five below. If you guys like this, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. But I love you guys. Tune them in and back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.